Hello folks, welcome back and thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look back at the American left, Democrats, and how they really feel about communism, Russia, and an insurgency to defend America like Ukraine is fighting against Russia right now, which they claim to support, and not just support, but like hardcore support, to the point that if you ask any questions about this, they call you pro-Putin. So I'm not sure about this, but I'm guessing most of the people that watch this channel are familiar with the movie Red Dawn. Like many of you, I loved this movie growing up as a kid in the 80s. In fact, I grew up in the 80s when Republicans in Hollywood were very anti-communist Russia. Republicans loved Red Dawn. The former Secretary of State to Ronald Reagan praised the movie, telling the Los Angeles Herald Examiner on August 15th, 1984, that, quote, it captures the stresses of patriotism, the emotions of love, and above all, the futility of war. In 2003, they even named the mission to capture Saddam Hussein Red Dawn. The left and Democrats, on the other hand, hated the movie for all the reasons you can already guess. Now, in addition to the new Eastwood movie, we're also going to be reviewing the controversial box office hit Red Dawn. A real negative review from me, Gene. I think this movie is corrupt from beginning to end. And one of the problems I have with it is that it makes a very definite political statement. In other mm -hmm. words, people should have handguns. They shouldn't be registered. The commies will come in and get the handguns. And then what do the teenagers use? Machine guns and anti-tank missiles. Well, that's mm -hmm. terrific. Maybe we should have those, too. There is a whole right-wing ideology in this yes. picture that the picture itself doesn't deserve. A political message? In a movie? Soon I'm gonna lose it. It means go crazy. Nuts. Insane. Bonzo. No longer in possession of one's faculties. Three fries short of a happy meal. Whack out! We're gonna dive deeper into this, but first a quick capitalism break for preparewithdronetech.com. Friends, big dangers are all around us these days. To survive what's coming, you need to be prepared and self-reliant. That's why I recommend getting yourself some cryptocurrency, some land, some gold, but especially a proper stockpile of emergency food. It's easier than you think. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now. And you'll save $50 and get free shipping on a generous four-week supply of emergency food from My Patriot Supply. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. Seriously, what the hell is he even talking about? I've seen that movie dozens of times, and I'm a right winger. I've never gleamed any of those messages from it. Honestly, when they shoot the Americans, I thought it was for helping out the Wolverines, not for the gun registration. So I must have missed that. Although, good point about gun registrations and commies. <laughs> The far left Washington Post also hit the movie for being right wing, saying, quote, director John Milius, the barbarian behind Conan, co-wrote this anti-gun control, anti-communist, survivalist script with Kevin Reynolds. Sick and silly as it is, the idea could have been intriguing had it gone anywhere, which it didn't. Conan, what is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. I'm sorry, folks. Even decades after Arnold is no longer funny, I still cannot pass up a chance to do my Arnold voice. I have a problem. But yeah, imagine one of your critiques of a movie is that it's anti-communist and pro-survivalist. It shows you what the Washington Post was even back in the 80s. The author also had this to say. And talk about enemy intelligence. The Russian commander's first order when he takes over the town is go to the sporting goods store and get copies of Form 44-3S and find out the private ownership of the weapons. The registered gun owners are then taken off and shot. It's an NRA nightmare come true. They just cannot stand the fact that we all know why they want a gun registry. Their motivations and agenda have never changed in almost 40 years. Surprise, surprise, the New York Times also had a problem with the openly pro-American, anti-communist, patriotic movie, calling it incorrigibly gung-ho and extensively macho. Uh, I'm sorry, have you seen Conan or any movie in the 80s? Hell, you can make the argument that Conan was excessively homoerotic. If you remember, there's a scene where the Russians execute a bunch of Americans who I guess were part of that gun registry. And the New York Times film critic whines, they thing America the beautiful just before they're shot. 
But their patriotism is not the question. And the movie might have been a little less overbearing without the thong. And in my opinion, we'd see an awful lot of those folks actually join the invaders. It's no accident that Marxist ideological cults like CRT-derived snake oil has found its way into our schools and every institution. All right, after all this talk about Red Dawn, I'm gonna have to go and rewatch it now. If you've never seen it, you definitely have to drop everything you're doing and go watch it. If you wanna support this channel, you can do so using any of the links in the description or pinned comment. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and then leave a comment to let us all know what you think.